welcome to the channel guys my name is Mary. if you're new here how are you doing guys i hope you're doing fantastic all right so today i have i said some peanuts with you the other day and i have a few seeds left from the original set uh, set of seeds that i planted that i want to replant in one of the containers up top but first i need to plant some squashes these these are black beauty zucchini and these are crooked neck squash the yellow squash so i'm going to plant this one here where i took out the peanuts from and this one up there where i took out the peanuts from and then we can get to planting these peanuts so let's just back up a bit guys all right which one i said i was going to plant guys this one right the yellow one this is from bentley seeds i planted this once and it grew and the worms but look at this okra right here I'm going to harvest it the worms just destroyed the plant it was looking so good right before burial i took it inside and bring it back outside it just didn't make it i'm going to plant two in here and then I'm going to put them on stakes, grow them vertically. So let me let me put them to the sides like so. And hopefully the peanut, the ones that were left in there, don't grow up and take over the whole container. I'll watch it closely. So to be on the safer side can't be too too safe because these seeds are getting a bit old i'm going to put two in each and if both grow then i'll just pull the extra one and if it can be transplanted then i'll do that so that's the yellow squash right there all right let's go up top and plant the zucchini don't never forget the peanuts I'm gonna come back and harvest this okra. I need to harvest this cabbage too. <laughs> this kalalu has done me proud. This can come out now and free up the the space in here. Oh, but I'm sure I'm going to save these seeds to to give to some persons who ask me. For a long while now. Alright. Not turn away those seeds. Alright, let's go guys. These caterpillars on my cabbage. What is wrong with you? Oh my word. Where are you? I'm not leaving you here. No. Not leaving you. Look at this one. Mm -mm -mm. No man. You guys serious? Ah. Guys, I tend to plant a lot of what I love to eat. And so anything you see a lot of it in the garden like the cabbages and so on is what i like to eat peanut is also one but we usually just buy peanuts so oh my word this is another thing that we like to eat but can't seem to manage seriously guys look at okras <laughs> my word Whoops! Fell on my cabbage. Oh my word. All right. Guys, I left my shovel. Well, you know, Marie always improvising. So this shall be the shovel. This is where we harvested the rest of the peanuts from. Well, 
some of the peanuts from so i'm going to put two zucchini in here and just like i'm going to do with the yellow one i'm going to try and grow them vertically so i can put two that way i have the middle to feed the, the um the plants because these squashes are heavy feeders so they're going to be needing a lot of feeding so can't overcrowd the containers so one on each side and again i'm going to put two to two to a hole just in case the seeds aren't so bossy so that way i'm more likely to get a plant rather than just chance in one seed these seeds look good though And I have been storing my seeds in the fridge because I really don't want them to go old on me. And these are so hard to come by. I don't know if they're sold in Jamaica yet. But if you know of them being sold here, let me know. All right, up to the peanut now. So this is where I had the peanuts. This is where we harvested the peanuts, peanuts last. Yeah, I said the right thing, didn't I? Guys, look at my susumba tree. And it is blossoming. But I'm waiting for it to produce. And then I'm going to try and put together a video from me planting them to show you the different stages or how long it took to actually produce fruit. As I'm planting this for the first time. And it grows super fast. Marie stray very easily. Back to the peanuts. So this, what you're seeing here is actually the peanut plants that I'm going to use to mulch back the container. Well, not mulch. It's, no, it's not mulch because I'm going to pour the soil on top of it. No. So it actually is fertilizer. As this is very, very high in nitrogen. But I had to put it like this, guys, because otherwise it would grow. So what I had to do was to turn the plants upside down because I had no idea um, peanut plants were so hard to die. So I had to, they're breaking down nicely in there. So I'm going to just top up this with some more soil. I think it is now safe to put them flat and let me show you why guys let me show you why I had to do this before using it for mulch because I'm using that to fertilize my soil let me show you why let me walk through here through here is just so nice to walk through <laughs> one of the reasons why it's so nice look at that and see I have more um peanuts growing right there i have peanuts there that this bee that's what you want to see in the garden but also when you see these ants if it's are close by are white flies see white fly it's just so cool to walk through this passage I have some more peanuts over here can bet you any money they are aphids yes so close to my cabbage this is a nightmare on your cabbage guys aphids all right let me show you why <clears throat> i chose to allow the peanuts to dry out properly first Ooh, those are beautiful I took three ornworms off of these tomatoes this morning. The little, what kind of bugs are these and what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? I don't know if they're good bugs. They say when you're not sure if the bugs are good, get rid of them, especially when they're mating. If you're good, sorry, but if not, goodbye. 
you're not sure, get rid of them. Look at what the ornaments did to this tomato. Should have seen those early. <laughs> Alright. Guys, I'm having a challenge getting rid of the peanuts out of these. And what I did was to mulch with the peanut. Um, look, this is the old peanut that the harvest said I mulched the container with them. And they're growing. No matter how I pull them, they grow back. Because I placed them, the, um, the plants that I pulled in there and covered them with soil. Some of them were covered too deeply. And I cannot get rid of the peanuts out of here. Hence the reason why <laughs> I chose to allow them to dry out before using them to mulch. Because those are really, really good for mulching. But when they're totally dead. Not while they're alive. wonder if there are any more ornworms here. And guys, I, I, I took off another type of caterpillar, not ornworm, from my my little pear, my little um yellow um is it yellow pear to my little cherry tomato, guys. So I saw this tomato yesterday, and I was wondering what on earth eating out the tomato. Look at that caterpillar. I am telling you about these worms, these pestilence. This tomato is no good. So, let me just take it off along with this caterpillar. One of you told me to give them to the chickens. Guys, I tried. The chickens are afraid of the worms. My chickens tush. They're not eating the worms. I see my, my tomatoes starting to ripen. I'm telling you, boy. Before we stray any further, let's get back to this, guys. All right. So now that they appear to be dry, we can put some put them flat in the container and. Put some soil. Chances are peanuts will grow in there. But I'm planting bad peanuts so it don't matter. So. Let's put this flat. And then we pour some soil over this. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it too high because I'm going to need to mulch the peanut, not mulch, mold up the peanuts because they produce, if you've been following me then you would have learned along with me that peanuts produce all the way up the stem and so lower you can plant it in the container the better off you will be because then you'll be able to mold up the stems or lie them flat it can be um, laid down as well and they'll produce along the stems all right so let me just and of course my planting instrument was left behind again also learned that you don't plant these too closely because one tiny grain give you a whole heap of peanut my new planting instrument all right, so I'm going to put them very far apart, about 12 inches apart in here. And I'm sure all of these are going to grow. It's one of the easiest things I've ever grown, guys, peanuts. One of the easiest thing ever. Should I put a bonus? One bonus. Trust me. If I'm failing at anything, I just plant a pot of peanut at this present moment and it boosts my confidence as a gardener. So look, you can plant and have something produce. <laughs> All right, so, right. That's awesome. Yes.
my thing is guys if you eat from your garden every day you need to plant something every day in your garden i don't like to see when i harvest some sometimes i allow the the container to rest but i don't like see it resting for too long because especially if i have something that i can plant if i eat from my garden every day i should be able to plant something every day as long as i have seeds so i'm trying to stick to my own philosophy <laughs> guys this is where i'm going to leave you for today for this video all right so plant some peanuts if it is that you're struggling with gardening peanuts will boost you as long as you're in warm climate doesn't like the cold peanuts like a lot of sun lots and lots of sun and it takes roughly three months to be ready in jamaica we only know one peanut i don't know if there are different varieties but what we plant in jamaica it, in my garden it takes roughly three months i've done two crops before and both of them were ready in three months so it's a quick crop and it's if you're looking for something with a lot of calories protein there is so much in peanut that it's beneficial and filling uses to make punch porridge eat it just like this it is sustenance to your body so you can't lose plant some peanuts all right guys thank you so much for the support to my members my new members joining thank you for joining our community and welcome we appreciate you so so much to those of you who have been viewing each and every day i appreciate you for those of you viewing for the first time thank you so so much for clicking on this channel there are 60 million channels that you could have chosen and you chose farming on the rocks we appreciate you thank you so so much for those of you who have been liking and leaving your comments please continue to do so and for those of you who have been sharing the videos please thank you and continue to do so for those of you watching and have not yet subscribed what are you waiting for it's absolutely free go ahead press that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post another video please remember to like and share guys take care now bye bye see you tomorrow